Felice, the Felice. Oh, the my guy. goodness. That's Look at Ellie. <laughs> oh, he has. They were amazing in this. There's, there's and, there's, uh, and there's Renata. Oh, oh, beautiful. So amazing. I want That's you to so know, funny. Lori. <laughs> yes. I ordered your perfume. <gasps> oh, you ordered a Vanka last night. perfume for me? Thank you. I'm going to vote with my mouth and my pocketbook. Yes. <laughs> but I, I'll tell you what. I went on to uh, Amazon. Amazon, and it was her perfume was sold out. Wow. Mm. Then this morning, I got up, went to my, my uh, office where I do the work on the shows and everything. Mm -hmm. And I went into my private computer, brought it up, went in there. New, a new batch was up. I mean, a new, you could see it was a new, new deal. It was up. I went in there, put all the stuff in, and it's coming. It'll be here in a couple days. Yay. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Thank but you. Th here's the thing. There's stores that have stood up for antichrist. There's stores that have put up for anti-American in this country. I mean, not just the Trump thing. No. And you all know some of it. Yep. I won't, I won't some of my own there. family shops at one of these. <laughs> oh, and I'm not going to name them. <laughs> don't uh, get me but, started. But I just want to say, I don't think we should support people who want to destroy the United States of America. I agree. Listen, if they can be loud. Why can't we? That's right. Rabbi's getting right into this amazing, explosive link to the Harbinger secrets that's going to come out right now. We're going to start. Yes. But we finished the, just the headline news. We didn't even plan to go into them. But this is what's going on, people. And we've got to stand up. I've made up my mind. No one's going to destroy Morningside. Come on. If you want to hurt Morningside... You're not welcome here. That's it. This is what's been going on, and we let it. We let it go on, and we could have stopped. We didn't have to have all the murder of our babies. That's right. But we did not say no. That's it. No. All right? That's, true. That's a spiritual word. You know what's so funny about you, you saying that? President Trump met with the leaders of America, the evangelical leaders, and he said this statement. He said, you men out there are the most powerful human beings in this country, but you guys have gotten soft. One of the great cities in America, one of the, Pennsylvania, they have just been forced to drop the Ten Commandments. So yeah. another city taking the Ten Commandments down. Mm. Do you know what? Doesn't anybody worry that we might anger God mm. at some point? You think you got a little Prissy, wussy God? Come on. Uh-uh. When God, God is, hold back, is holding back his job. And when it comes, people, you better be with some people that you can trust that have your back. Because we're getting ready for the last time. But, but these headlines today are amazing. The Ayatollah rabbi, he says, we will liberate Palestine, remove the cancer of Israel. Wow. That doesn't shock you, of course. Mm -mm. Yeah, they've been trying to do that for a long time, but uh, uh, hasn't been working for them because, right. <laughs> because right. God is in charge. Yeah. You know? But yes, that's, that's the demonic forces. You know? Never stops. Never stops. Israel has to battle every day just to, just to stay alive, but God always keeps it alive. Yes, you know? he does. You know, when you look at it, 4,000 years and you have all the ancient empires, they're all gone. Israel is still there. So this, you know is a blip on the radar screen. You know, in history, Israel's going to be here thousands of years from now. <laughs> you know, I'm so it's going to be the kingdom of know, God. And what I'm so excited about right now, and right now as I'm speaking, is that our president stands with Israel. And that makes me excited when our former president didn't stand, wouldn't even let Netanyahu, wouldn't even meet with the, pre, the prime minister of Israel. No. And yet, boy, our president now, him. oh, so excited Lord, I know it. you're excited over this. Control room, there's a piece of video laying on the floor somewhere around there. <laughs> Grab it up, put it on the rack. Uh, Melania Trump said the Lord's Prayer yeah. at the opening Powerful. of a speech there in, yes. in Florida, I believe it was. But it was so crazy because so beautiful. all the anti-Christ people in America and the anti-Trump people, they're, they're as mad as you know why. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but could, could we have Mrs. Trump? Pray the prayer to open Rabbi's new teaching. Yes. Here's the 
wife of the President of the United States. Our First Lady. Thank you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. And, and you know what? English is her fifth language. Wow. You know, they, may, they mock uh, this yeah. woman like she's a stupid idiot. Anybody who can even discuss it if you speak five, five languages. I can't even speak one. Me either. It's hard to speak English for us. Amen. What do you think, Rabbi, when you saw the, the wife of the president? Trem tremendous. Tremendous. And uh, exactly what you said. It was like all hell was against her. Yeah. You know? And I, you know, whenever Michelle Obama did anything, the media was heralding it. Yeah. Um, she does anything, the Lord's Prayer. It's exactly what you said. There's an anger, and there's an anger because the 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 agenda that was going downhill with America has been halted to a degree, or at least it's being threatened to be halted. And the darkness hates it. And it's not yes. that it's not that these are the enemies, but have they are in darkness. But have and you seen such it. anger against what the things that are good? You know, they're trying to stop people from coming in to bomb America. Mm -hmm. Right. Trying to stop the drugs. Right. Do you know how many millions and billions of dollars worth of drugs comes into our country almost daily? And these drugs are killing our kids? Yeah. You know, I saw some... I'm telling you what. I'm fighting problems still with my children because they've been on drugs. And when drugs take over your children, all heaven hardly can turn them away from drugs because drugs is a spirit of Antichrist, the spirit of Satan is in it. And we have, we have the power to stop drugs coming in this country, to hold it back. And a church will not stand behind the president. We've got to everyone stand up or it's over, people. Do you people not know how sick this is? How, do you not see how sick America is? Yeah. Divided nation. So. Beyond comprehension. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this special message. We put together this family gathering bundle. Right. Okay? Yes. And it's only $450. Yes, sir. Right. And, and so that is a year and four months. Yes, sir. That is a, a tremendous saving. Mm -hmm. And when you get this food, you get the fruit variety bucket. 199 serving. You get a vegetable variety bucket, 109 servings. You get the gluten-free black bean bucket, 215 servings. You get the Fiesta bucket, 196. That's that's the whole Mexican bucket. Yes, sir. Right. And then we have the French toast kit, which was just developed it last month. Right. And so it's a $925 value. So you're going to save $475. And then you get this bonus of two boxes of each flavor of Frontier Bites. Right. And uh, so there's macadamia, pineapple, coconut. Mm -hmm. There's pecan, cherry, cinnamon. There's almond, blueberry, lemon. Yes. Mm. And so you get uh, how many boxes of that now? Two of each flavor. This is a special, special product. Mm -hmm. That's only going to be for this special week. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. It's good. Okay. Now, you have the new meal extenders. Yes. This is a John Shorey thing. This meal extenders is 1,837 servings. That's good. That's a, that's this is almost two years of food. Right. So. Right. And extenders, they're like... Put some water in the soup, Ma. <laughs> yes. Because we got company. That's you right. Know, and that's what extenders are. Yes. 
and I, I think we ought to order one right now. I do too. This because is great. we've got lots of food stored away. Right. But when people drop in, right, they can eat a lot. Well, well, the extenders are. Some you have to add extenders. some, some right. extenders like okay, lentil Lord. lentil bean bucket, which is three hundred and eighty six servings. I could sing the Hallelujah chorus. Uh, I, love, <laughs> I know I love lentils. I'm a lentil fan. It's true. They give me energy. Yes. Can't you tell? Yes. Okay, pinto beans. My 432 yes, servings. Right. So then what's the next one? White rice bucket. How many servings? 405. Then what is this vegetable stew mix? 388 servings. Yes. So then the potato slice bucket. Mm -hmm. So what can you do with a potato slice? Anything. Eat it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, whatever you want to do. You can fry it up. You can boil it. You can add it to stew, soups. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so here we have the new meal extenders. These are extenders. Right. But, well, with the but, meal extender bundle, you also get a bonus yes. as well. You receive two boxes of each flavor of the Frontier Bites yes. that we all love so much. And that's macadamia pineapple coconut, pecan cherry cinnamon, almond blueberry lemon, and they are wonderful. There are only eight ingredients in so these. You're getting things. one year, eight months of food mm -hmm. so for... Five hundred and fifty dollars, and you're getting this set of uh, two boxes of and six each, pouches. Oh, two boxes of each flavor each Frontier box. Bites. So call one eight 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 nine eight eight one five eight eight or write us today at PO Box seventy three thirty Branson Missouri six five six one five or go to the website jimbakershow.com. The mystery of the kings. Yes. We want to open with that yes. today. Yes. So excited. Yes. And uh, you're going to open up an mm -hmm. entire new mystery for the mm -hmm. first time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you uh, just yes. jump in and Yeah, I can swim? jump in. <laughs> yeah, let me say a few things. You're here. Because are we ready for this? Because We're ready. I'm ready. We'll have ex it will have explosive ramifications. Nobody is our enemy. You know, if I, when I speak of people mm -hmm. they are not our enemy we need to pray for them the only thing we have to do is pray for them speak truth and love yeah uh, we need to pray for salvation uh, this is going to be like as with the harbinger that there is a ancient template an ancient mystery that links to the last days of israel links to mm -hmm. israel's fall from god that is now replaying here now it's going to be you're going to see it in a whole nother realm and that is that that it isn't that the people here the leaders i'm going to speak about are the people from obviously from the Bible? They're mm -hmm. not the same people, but they are they are following the template. They are they are playing a part. And they probably don't have no idea that they're doing it. Remember, in the Harbinger, you had leaders, you know, who were actually voicing judgment. You had Tom Daschle, you, who, who actually pronounces judgment on the nation. Mm -hmm. But there is a passage in the Bible from Isaiah that I think speaks to all of us at times like this. The bricks have fallen down, but we will rebuild with dressed stone. The fig trees have been felled, but we will replace them with cedars. That is what we will do. Mm -hmm. He's saying the exact same things the exact same words that the ancient leaders of Israel said. Now, he isn't the ancient leader, but he's stepping into the template. So the same thing we're going to see here now, okay? So with that said, let's begin. Now, first of all, right, and I'm gonna, the last thing is, I'm going to do this throughout my time here, throughout the week. So okay. in other, we'll have other mysteries in between, but we're going to keep on going. until. So it's going to bring it all the way up till right now, okay? So the first thing is that, that with the harbinger, it's centered not just on ancient Israel. It's centered on... There were two Israels, north and south. There was the northern kingdom called Samaria or Israel, and there was a southern kingdom called Judah. The center of the harbinger is the northern kingdom. The nine harbingers appear in the last days of the northern kingdom, okay? It involves both, but it centers on that. So here, this too is going to center on the northern kingdom of Israel. Now, let me give you the overall picture. Overall picture is this. Israel was founded by God, or founded for God and his purposes, blessed by God, but in their blessings, they turn away from God. They begin 
falling, calling evil good and good evil. They oh begin driving God out of their out of their public squares, out of their culture. They begin taking in other gods to replace them. They begin promoting sexual immorality. They begin to offer up their children as sacrifices to the gods, to Baal. So this, you have a long-term falling. But then mm-hmm. in the midst of this template, the falling, you have a king who rises up. And the Bible says that this king did worse or it did than any king before him. He, was, he did things that kings had not done before. Mm-hmm. And that king was called Ahav or Ahab. We know him as that. He's the most famous king of the northern kingdom. And the, what we know of him, he was the seventh king. He had, he was, he, his father was Om, called Omri, who had overthrown the king before him, Zimri, who had overcome the, overthrown the king before him. But he was cunning. He, at the same time, he was morally weak in morality. At times, the Bible records he was driven, incited by his wife, Jezebel. Mm. It's the first time that the Bible speaks of a king and queen, almost as co-regents, going against God. They were, she was behind the scenes. She was behind the throne. She was influencing her husband in leading the nation away from God. Now, Israel had already wow. been falling, but the Bible says that Ahab, he accelerated, deepened it. He, under his wife's influence, he championed the worship of Baal. He made it a, the state became allied with Baal, mm-hmm. began enforcing the worship of Baal. And that meant under Baal, you have the killing of babies. Mm-hmm. So he's championing it's happening, the killing of babies. Also under Baal, you have sexual immorality. You have, in the worship of Baal, you literally have, it was called, it was sacred rites, you, they called it, you have male and female prostitutes. It was actually a, a religion of immorality. Mm-hmm. Under the worship of Baal, you have the marginal, the, 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 the persecution, marginalization of God's people. He's the one, Ahab and Jezebel, go get into war with the people of God, at war with the prophets of God. They try to drive them out, basically. So here you have all the, you have Ahab accelerating this, quote, new morality for Israel. New morality because it goes against the traditional or biblical morality. What about America? America, as we've seen, has been, America has been in this fall, this long-term fall away from God. It didn't start now. It's been going on, I mean, markedly from the middle of the, of the 20th century, 1950s, yes. 1960s, we begin driving God out of the school, driving prayer out of the school. Then we, we start striking down the Ten Commandments. We're still seeing it today. And then 1973, you've got a major milestone turning point. America legalizes the killing of children. And so and we could say, how do you compare that? How do you compare what Israel is doing, offering up their children on the altars, literally, of Baal? Well, Israel offered up thousands. We have offered up millions. So how do you compare? Well, it, we have done that. This is the sin of Baal coming in. Now, a godly leader, as we, I mentioned last, one of the last times we were here, you can't just blame it on a leader because it's the nation. But a leader represents the nation. A leader can, can, can be a judgment, or a leader can be representing the nation. A godly leader can slow down the fall, or he can turn it around like a Josiah. But an ungodly leader or or a leader who's going against God can accelerate it. So in America, we don't have kings, but we do. We have presidents. We, that, those are our kings. Mm -hmm. And they have reigns. Their reigns are called administrations and presidencies. So with Ahab, remember, the nation's already falling, but he accelerates it. So America was already falling. But the template of Ahab says that there'll come a leader who will accelerate the nation's fall, the first one to do certain things that no president did before him. This is the Ahab template. There was, was there such a leader? There was, and that's gonna be the beginning of the mystery of kings. We're gonna go through several kings here. But here's the thing. It was after the reign of, it was after the presidency of Ronald Reagan, and then his vice president, George Bush, who became president. But specifically, no matter what your views are politically, this is not about politics, it's about the word of God. Whatever your views are on that, President Clinton, Bill Clinton, was the first president in American history to openly endorse the killing of babies, openly. He was the first president, without any question, who championed this. He was the first president to remove the protections from the, that were protecting children that actually Reagan had put into effect. On his fourth day of presidency, he legalized he signed uh, executive orders stopping the, stripping the protection of the unborn that Reagan had established. He added to the effect, the, he, he actually televised it. 
started something called the, Mex the, the Mexico City Policy, which now America would be funding the advocacy of abortion all around the world. U.S. tax dollars would be used to pressure countries to accept abortion around the world. He ordered abortions around the world to, on, on military bases overseas. He sought to require Medicaid to pay for abortion. He sought to remove any parental notification with minors. He sought to pass what he called the Freedom of Choice Act, which would have struck down really any, any protection for the unborn. In the template of Ahab, the sacrificing of children is endorsed for the reason that Baal, Baal worship, you sacrifice your child to get benefits, to get, to get increase, to get profit, that it would bless your fields. Well, under Clinton, he became the first president in American history to sign into law the experimentation on aborted children to bring benefits. That Then came partial birth abortion, where it involved actually the pulling out of children, mo most of their body out, and then, then sucking out the brain, crushing the skull. The, the Congress tried, Congress, uh, they voted to stop this. Clinton vetoed it to defend partial birth abortion. Mm -hmm. Into the template of Ahab, those standing, those standing for the ways of God begin to become persecuted, marginalized. Clinton signed legislation that, that was against people protesting abortion, and actually he came into conflict with Christians all the time. Um, and so now you actually had Christians arrested who were protesting abortion. The template of Ahab involved actually the worship of Baal, which involved also as a sexual immorality. And so here something else happened. Under this administration, Clinton was the first president in American history to endorse another sin. It, it all began there, endorse another sin that the Bible clearly condemns, and that is he sought and he sought again and again to normalize homosexuality. Again and again and again. First president. First president to address gay advocacy groups and to redefine what was right and wrong. Here's what it says. It's that, you know, Ahab, he took what was, what was the, 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 the values of Israel and he redefined them, turned them upside down. Well, listen, this is a quote of what, of what Clinton said when he first addressed these groups. He said this, we are, listen, we are, should we change the law? You bet, he said. We are redefining in practical terms the immutable ideals. That means the unchanging ideals. We're redefining them that have guided us from the beginning. We are changing the values, basically, of the nation. He, in the template of Ahab, he, he, he endorses, he, he seeks to, to have Israel celebrate the ways of Baal. Clinton was the first president in American history to issue a proclamation celebrating what he called Gay Pride Month. And he listened to this, listen to what he said. Now, therefore, William Clinton, I, the president of the United States, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution, do hereby proclaim June as Gay and Lesbian Pride Month, I encourage all Americans to observe this month <laughs> with appropriate programs, ceremonies, and activities that celebrate our diversity, recognize the gay and lesbian America. Now, Clinton was known as a tactical, strategic president, but also as morally weak, exactly the template of Ahab. Mm -hmm. He was confronted for his sins, or he was, as Ahab was confronted for his sins by the prophets, Clinton was always confronted by Christians about abortion, continuously, continuously. And Elijah particularly did so. But Ahab was also confronted for his personal sins. And that was the sin when, they, when Ahab and Jezebel killed somebody uh, named Naboth. Remember that? And, and at the vineyard, they tried to take the vineyard of Naboth. And so El Elijah confronted him with judgment, exposed the sin, and said, judgment's coming. Ahab, Ahab repented, or at least he asked for mercy, and so God delayed the judgment. Near the end, near the, in the last years of Clinton's presidency, he was confronted for his own sins, exposed like Ahab. And then there were a few more years, he was the first president to be impeached in modern times, a few more years, and his, his presidency ends with a, with a lot of scandal, a lot of corruption, a lot of those things. Ends as did that. Now, we're going to go from the Ahab template to the Jezebel template. Wow. But we're going to wait on that. Let me give a little break. Uh, okay, let me give a little break. Oh, this is a lot, Rabbi. Uh, wow, we're break. trying to take this in. This, this is amazing. This is going to take us all the way up to where we are. It's amazing. But, but uh, we're going to get to Je the Jezebel template in a, in a, in a few moments. But okay. let, me, let me take a break, okay? Let, let me throw in another a nice mystery, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let, me, let me tell you something. Okay, and then we'll get right to that. Okay. One of the mysteries and one of the things that, and this is, this is in what I know what you're offering right. in, in the album. The, the, the mystery of the Kings, Kings 1 and 2 has everything in it. Yeah. There's a lot in it. Um, and there, but also there's something called the, the, the identical. Uh -huh. 
Okay. And, and this one that's hinted, at, you have one page in the middle. Can, I, can yeah. I just hold yeah. that yeah. up? Yeah. yeah, sure. Because this eight video, eight, eight, eight DV videos in here, mm. and they're amazing. This is for just this set. But the best thing on this we got going today is mm. the $85 love gift. The Mysteries of Kings and More. This eight DVD set contains incredible mysteries like the Mysteries of the Kings, part one and two, where you will learn of an explosive mystery that lies behind everything that was, that is, and that is yet to come. It links up with the Harbinger, and it has everything to do with what's happening in the world right now. In the tracing of your life, you will discover the master plan and the blueprint that exists for every moment of your life. Then open the deep and wonderful mystery of you and Jesus that will change forever the way you read the gospel in the mystery called the identical. How can you have a breakthrough in your walk, your relationships, your callings, even a breakthrough over habits and sin? Learn the specific key you need to guarantee the breakthrough in your life in the momentum secret of breakthrough. Then the answer of where we are right now judgment or revival, what it means for your life, revealed in Josiah's window. The mystery of the Jordan will show you the secret of God, of Jesus, and your life on how to live in God's greatest blessings. You will also receive a bonus DVD called the Cup of Reeling. Jerusalem, discover why the ancient city of Jerusalem is the center of current events and the future of the world. You can also receive the Study of the Mysteries offer for a donation of $85 or more to the ministry. In this offer, you will receive the Mysteries Volume 20, The Mystery of Kings and More, eight DVD collections, Rabbi's best-selling new book, The Book of Mysteries, and the brand new Book of Mysteries Prayer Journal. This prayer journal is the perfect companion to The Book of Mysteries. You can record your thoughts and prayers and this pages that correspond to each mystery. This book comes in a beautiful leather-like binding with the lettering impressed into the cover. You will also receive the Harbinger Man DVD as a special bonus when you order the Study of the Mysteries offer for a donation of $85 or more to the ministry. This is a value of $200. And for just $85, you're going to get this whole set. And if you'd love to help us with our budget this month, which we're trying to get totally caught up, a um, $100 love gift would be so cool. Just a little extra, but that little extra, will, everybody, a little extra from everybody, and we'll be so current with all of that. Mm -hmm. And as you put all of that together, yes. you know, this is the most amazing deal, and Honestly, something that you're adding $15, if you would, to make that a $100 deal. Right. I'm going to give you, if you ask for it, the, the, the Ronald Reagan deal, but it's free of charge. No extra charge at all. Just ask for it. Uh, the, what do we call it? Jim's historic interview with Ronald Reagan. Just right. Jim that in 1979, and uh, uh, President You'll Reagan prophesied. Yes. He was actually the governor at that time. He was running for the president of the United States mm -hmm. when you interviewed mm -hmm. him. And you can't buy it. Mm -hmm. You can only get it if you ask for it when you so order when a you product. So when you offer, do we call it the study of the mysteries? Because it's the whole mm -hmm. study set. Mm -hmm. You know, you get uh, the, the book. This looks leather-like. Much more beautiful in person than on television. But you get all of these, mm -hmm. this, the mystery videos, all eight of them, the documentary. But this would be, I'm telling you people, if you're going to be ready for what's coming, yes. you better know what is coming. There are several, and there's several of them that are prophetic, meaning... 
the Josiah window, where we are now, what we need to know about mm -hmm. the, the Jerusalem, the cup of reeling, which we'll probably touch when we're here, but that's also another thing on there. Plus the tracing, which that there is an actual tracing for your life. There's an actual blueprint. How do you do it? And you are, God want, you are able to trace it. What is that? Um, there's something called the momentum secret in there um, about breakthrough, the real secret of having breakthrough in your life. Mm -hmm. The mystery of the identical, I'm about to share a little bit yeah. now and much more. So that's, The mystery that's of the art and the, the cup of the real mm -hmm. Jerusalem. I mean, uh, it, this is so exciting. Okay, so the Go identical. to your phone. Yes, go, go right now. Yes. Go yes. to our, the, that's toll-free number to call. Yes. Go do that right now. I'm it, like... Oh demonstration. My I know what I'm doing this weekend. You know, yeah, it's exciting. It the is demonstration, demonstration of love, of, of your love, and I want to, and I do want to thank you for it. And 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 I know a little, you know, a little sidebar. You have all. I mean, I know I already kind of glanced through some of them, but you know, so many have sent just sympathy cards because our our dog Buttons passed away after 17 years, and. And, you know, that's Only a dog owner understands when you lose your dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, she was my dog. And I've had lots of dogs, but that was the dog of my life. And, and so just those meant the world yes. to me. And, but just knowing that you care and, yes. and that, that you love us. And we love you more than you can ever imagine. And I know Jim and I both pray for you daily individually and sometimes together but we pray for you daily and your families and what you're calling and just i just want you to know that and we we appreciate you more than words could ever ever express so just go ahead and write us at p.o box 7330 branson missouri and get this series now rabbi i we with you have offered so many different sets over the years mm -hmm. In my personal opinion, this is our greatest offer with you yet. Mm. In my personal, mm. Mm. because I don't think there's anything better than this, next to the Bible, than this right here, yeah, the Book of Mysteries. Book. If you don't have this, everybody needs to get this. You can get one, you can get a baker's <coughs> dozen. I hand them out all the time. I keep them in my car. We carried them with a, listen, I'm like, Jim, we got, now, when we go on the trip, when we go, okay. I said, Jim, we cannot have all this on the care, all the carry-on stuff we carry, you know. But what? But we had a couple of these, mm. and we hand them out mm. everywhere we go. Mm. And, and I'm going to tell you. You something. think I gave people gold when I give them this? Yes, mm. it is. Mm. This is the greatest gift, gift to give. Mm. Yes. Because it is the truth. It is the mysteries the, of the word. It's the deep and, of the deep. And it's, every day, here's oh, the thing, people. I love it. Some of you haven't been able to read a lot. You can read one page one a page? day. Yeah. It's, a, it's a complete 365 mystery one, and a complete every day. feeding I, I mean, I got from so, the word. I get so fed by it that my hairdresser, Tim, he can't get enough of this. He just keeps, he was here the other day and doing my hair, and he was like, what about this one? What about that one? I mean, we were both just like back and forth talking yeah. about these. So yeah. thank you, Rabbi. Thank, thank you. you so much thank for, for putting this thank together. You. So everybody needs to get this. Okay, let's get a Baker's thank Dozen, for, too. Yeah, thank you for making it available like that. Yeah. Baker's Dozen yes. and all that. You guys yes. have done such yes. wonderful. Yes. Okay. okay. This is one from, let's go. from there, but, it, but I only... But yeah, only are we going to the identical? The identical. Or are let's we, do are it. We? Let's do because it. we, let's we do it. also... The template. Of We're going to get to Jezebel. Jezebel right after that. You got this man called who's sta standing in the shadow of death. He's called Barabbas. We know him as Barabbas, the criminal. The, the Bible says he was a criminal. One says he was a murderer. He was a revolutionary. He was part of an uprising. He's now standing, getting re ready to be killed. He's he's in prison. It is Passover, and across Jerusalem, the the priests of Israel they have a different prisoner. They have Messiah. And that, you know, the, the high priest of Israel, the priest of Israel, they were in charge of lifting up the sacrifices. They, their part was to sacrifice. Well, now they have a different sacrifice. They don't realize he is the sacrifice, but he, they're about to offer him up to be killed. Now, there was something in Hebrew called the hata'ah, which means the sin offering. And the sin offering, the thing about the sin offering is that the word in Hebrew doesn't just mean the sacrifice for sin. It means literally the sin itself. So the sacrifice 
also is called the sin. The sacrifice becomes the sin. So the thing about the law of the sacrifice is that when you had a sacrifice dying for you, that sacrifice in itself becomes you. You become the sacrifice. It's a, it's a union. It can only die for you if it becomes as you. It can die in your place because it becomes you. It becomes your thing. So there's a transference. They, they would put their sins onto the sacrifice. The, the sacrifice would be identified with them. Only then can they die. So the, the two, whoever's dying for you, has to become one with you in order to die for you. This happened to Abraham and Isaac. The first one, he offers up his son, and they find a ram instead. So the son is released, but the ram dies in the place of Isaac. Then on Passover, you have the son in every household who's going to be die, who's going to die. There's going to be there's a, there's the angel of death coming, but the lamb takes the place of the son, and the son takes the place of the lamb, goes yeah. free. So you got this transference going on all the time. Now here it is. It is it is Passover. You got Barabbas, the hardened criminal, and we can only imagine what he thought. For the first time in his life, he knows of or sees this other guy, Yeshua, Jesus, there. And, and because it's Passover, Passover is the time when the lamb has to die for the one who has the sentence of death over him. So here, he is going to, the one is going to die for the other. But when the high priest, the high priest would offer up one sacrifice he had to offer up every year that only the high priest could. It was the sacrifice of Yom Kippur, atonement. And when he did, something had to happen beforehand. He, the Bible says he would take two goats, one goat to his right, one goat to his left, and he would present the goats before the people. He would take in his hand an urn, uh, you know, and in the urn were two stones. He would take out one stone, put it on the head of one goat, take out the other stone, put it on the head of the other goat. On one stone was written the words, Ladonai, or to the Lord. And then that, and that, they would say the actual name of God. This one would be the one that would die and go to the Lord, would be the sacrifice. On the other one, the, head was, the word was Lazazel, the scapegoat. This one would escape. So you got the two goats. And so here you have 2,000 years ago, not two goats, but two men. Standing, presented, ultimately delivered by the priest, in front of the people, just as it had to be. And they have to decide which will go Adonai to the Lord to be sacrificed and which will escape, which will be Lazazel, which will be that. And in the ancient writings of the rabbis, it actually ordained that the, the two goats had to look identical because you had to not tell them apart. You know, the, the one die, in a sense dies for the other. They had to be identical. So here, could that mean that Messiah, you have Messiah, the one, and you have the criminal Barabbas, the other. Could they have been identical in some way? Could they have looked alike? We don't know that. We don't know. But the mystery is deeper. Because you, and you think, like, how can two people be so different than the Son of God, the Son of the Father, the Holy Son of the Father, and then Barabbas, the criminal, the murderer? Well, here's the amazing thing. There's a mystery. We've heard Barabbas our whole lives. He's the criminal. He's the, we think bad things. We think of Barabbas. But there's a mystery here because Barabbas, the name, it wasn't his real name. His real name wasn't Barabbas. His real name was Bar Abba. Bar Abba, you have the son of the father here. Bar Abba means the son of the father. Oh, my goodness. You have Messiah, the son of the father, and you have Barabbas, the son of the father. That's what it means. The <laughs> identical. The one dying must die for the other, the two, the son of the father. When you look, look back at Isaac and when he's offered up. Isaac is what? He's the son of the father, Abraham. Now it's now on Passover. Who do, who's, who gets saved from by the Lamb? The son of the father, the son in every household. Now you have Barabbas, the son of, on Passover. The other one is the Lamb. You know he's going to die for him, but he's also the son of the father. They're identical, Amen. and it goes even more. And it goes even more because in the ancient manuscripts of the Bible, and the, and you might see it in some of your footnotes, they actually give the name of Barabbas. His name was Jesus. Do you know that? Have you ever seen that in your footnotes? It was Jesus Barabbas. It's in your footnotes. Oh, my goodness. It's in your footnotes. In Everybody fact, go to your footnotes in your the Bible. The reason, the reason why, the, wow. reason, I mean, we, the reason why it's not in all is because the early church fathers said, you can't have Barabbas with the same name as, as the Holy, as Jesus. And so, and so you, that's why you see so that some of the, they do not put them, they were not in all the manuscripts, but they're there. So you had, what do you have now? You have Barabbas, son of the Father, son of, you have, his name was Jesus. You have Jesus or Jesus. You have, or really, it was Yeshua and Yeshua. His full name was Yeshua, son of the father. Barabbas just means the son of the father. Oh, my God. Identical. Identical. So then his whole life, this guy, he was born, given the name. Certainly, we know he was given the name son of the, the son of the father, 
and, and most likely he was also named Yeshua, son of the father. His whole life he's, hold, he's bearing the name of Jesus, his whole life, because he's going to be the one for whom Jesus dies first. Barabbas represents us. He's the, he's the criminal. He has the death. Of, he has the de he's in bondage. He has the sentence of death on him, but he was born to be the son of the father too. And he bears the name of Jesus. He's in the image of Jesus. All of us, no matter who we are, we were born not only in the image of God, we were born in the image of Jesus. We be, that's why Jesus could die for us. But for him to die for us, he had to become our identical. That's why he, the sacrifice always has to become, that's why he came down to earth. That's why he lived, that's why he was born like we were. That's why he went through childhood like we do. That's why he went through pain and rejection and because we did. So he could share everything and become one with us on the cross. Oh. He could become our identical. Amazing. And, <laughs> and it's not oh. just, it's not just that he became the identical of the world. He became the identical of each of us. Wow. In some mystery, whoever, he became our identical. He knew our pain. He takes, if we were the only one on earth, it's him. When you look on the cross, it's not just Jesus dying for the world. It's Jesus dying specifically for you. It, that someone is dying as your identical. Mm -hmm. He's like taking your name. He's taking your old identity. He's taking you specifically and dying for that. Why? So, so look what happens. The, 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 that's one part of the mystery. The sacrifice must become one with you totally. But the other side of the mystery is the person for whom the sacrifice dies must now and is now given the power to become identical with the sacrifice. In other words, here, Messiah dies. Barab Messiah, actually, Messiah, you could call Messiah is also, this is going to sound strange, but in Hebrew it's exact. Messiah is the Barabbas. He is the son of the father, which in Greek is the Barabbas. Messiah became the Barabbas. He's the, the criminal that Barabbas could become the Bar Abba, the son of the father. He goes free. He goes free. Now, we don't know if Barabbas ever realized what happened. We don't know, but we do realize what happened. Yeah. We are Barabbas. Yeah. We are the criminals. We had the sentence of death. We had the bondage. But now, our whole life is now, as, as, in the same way he became one with us, the mystery is that we are in the same way to become one with him. And that is that if he took our identity, we have the power to take his identity. That means we are to become the identical of the son of the father. We who were Barabbas now become Bar Abba, the son of the father, the child of God. You know, I'm thinking about this. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Mano, and I heard a little bit of your testimony. How you were a gang member. You were all the, the stuff. We were all Barabbas. But that we, you are now the Bar Abba, the son of the father, Amen. that we can live Holy, we Ooh. truly have the power to live holy and free. 